Hey guys, you're here for six raid chests solo from The Last Wish, and one visit to the Wish Wall. And at the end I'll show you how to get three raid chests without even owning the Forsaken DLC. To do this, you want to have three characters of different classes. You can open each chest once on each class of Guardian. This gives raid weapons, armor, and Taken raid mods without ever beating the raid. Taken mods are really great for Gambit. The first thing to do is go to the Wish Wall. Shoot in the Morgoth code, then stand in the center. This will teleport you to the Morgoth encounter. Now there are several different ways to get across the gap. The main thing is that you start out with some height. That avoids a turn back timer. The best way right now is by using Top Tree Dawnblade. Place a rally banner from Hawthorne to get your super immediately. Hold your grenade button to activate Heat Rising. Then jump over the gap. When it's about to end, activate your super. And then periodically use Icarus Dash to propel yourself forward. Once across, grab the first chest. At this point you can leave the encounter, reset your checkpoint in orbit, go to the wish wall, and then input the Shirochi Wish, and you can get the second chest. But you can also save time by just going over the map. Put on a lot of mobility, and then do these jumps. You can also get to the ledge above you through methods like grenade flying. When you drop down to this building, you'll have to kind of slide your way to the door. The safest way to approach the door is by crouch walking into it. Sometimes you can die when you hit the loading zone. If that happens, you might as well do the other wish method, or you can just try it again. But basically, this just puts you at the spot that the Shiro Chi wish normally does without putting in the code, which saves you some time.
For the Titan, the first steps are the same. Put in the Wish, bring Lion Rampants and a Sword, or you can use the Hunter World Line Zero method I will explain later. When you have Catapult Lift, Lion Rampants, and Sword Ammo, you can use Titan Flying. Use Thunder Crash for extra distance. Jump off and activate your boost. Quickly deactivate your boost, and then as you start to fall, swing your sword. Repeat this method. If done quickly, you will gain height every time you activate your boost. Activate boost, pause, deactivate boost, pause, swing sword, pause, repeat. If you find you're lacking in some distance, you can use your thunder crash. With Titan, it's the same as Warlock. Make the jumps and over the top. Slowly go through the loading zone, possibly crouch walk. Then you can go to the second chest. Alternatively, you can load up the Shuro Chi Wish as outlined in the Warlock run.
Third is for the Hunter. You can get the first chest without World Line Zero by putting in the Shiro Chi Wish. But to get the second chest, you need World Line Zero. Put in the Morgoth Wish. Go on Archstrider and have World Line Zero equipped. Use a Raid Banner and Rally it. Then wipe. If you're on a Titan, use Sentinel Super. Activate your super and sprint around. Keep sprinting even a few seconds after your super has ended. If done correctly, your World Line Zero will have the Tesseract buff when you are standing still. Do not hit the sprint button ever again. That will cancel out this glitch. Switch to Bottom Tree Night Stalker, then rally the flag. Walk to the top of the cliffs for some height. Then jump off the cliff and spam your World Line Zero. If you're lacking on distance, spam your super. This gets you to the first chest. You can use Stompies and High Jump with at least 80 mobility, and possibly use Blade Barrage to get some more height on that. Go into the loading zone slowly. To get the second chest, you can also reset your checkpoint and put in the wish to Shirochi. This brings you to the same place the loading zone does.
and if you don't have the DLC, you can still get the first chest on all of your characters. That means you can equip, use, and collect the raid gear and mods without paying money. This comes in handy for two types of people, those that do not have Forsaken, or those who used Cross Save and didn't rebuy Forsaken. If you own Forsaken, you can use the Wish Wall. If not, this is for you. This works on all platforms and on all characters. These clips are from Xbox. The most important thing to have is access to Patrol on the Dreaming City. This is unlocked after around the first 10 hours of play on free-to-play accounts. Second, bring a sword. Even a common sword from collections should work. Number three, wear high mobility. That means using mobility mods if you have them on all of your armor. Let's start out with the Titan, but I will go over all of the classes. Put on Catapult Lift. Any super should be fine. If you own Shadow Keep, the Thunder Crash Super Tree could be helpful. Put on the Lion Rampant's Exotic if you have them. These clips were performed without any exotics. Rally a public event flag for more ammo. Go to the top area of the Dreaming City, go over the ledge, and jump from the tree into the wall. get on top of the big rock. You will see a floating island. There are multiple ways to get to this island. The easiest is jumping and deactivating your boost before you hit your head on the ceiling. Use a sword swing. You can even use a light attack and then follow up with a heavy attack for more distance. Then reactivate your jump and repeat. If you need extra distance at the end, you can also pop your super. You want to at least grab onto this ledge to make it up. If you have lion rampants, you could also use titan flying. And you can even use Sparrow Flying. Tutorials for those will be found in the description. After that, jump onto the wall and jump into the corner. This will hit a loading zone. Turn around and walk to this area. If you jump, you will see where a line of water ends. That's where you can fall to your death, so jump over to this rock. Jump up the wall, jump over to the floor, jump on a ledge, then to another ledge. There's an invisible platform you should jump on at the end. Then tap jump to position yourself in this hole, then activate your lift to go higher. This can get tricky. You can also use your sword swings to try and climb up. Once up, you have to be careful. You're looking for a load zone along the wall. If you move around frantically, you might hit it and spawn into the wall, and that will kill you and you'll have to start over. You can slowly crouch walk into the spot, or you can jump on top of it. Once loaded, you want to make your way back down in the way you came in. If you die, you'll have to redo it. You'll be on a rock pile. You want to look over it for a ledge. Jump there, and then drop. Activate your boost towards the different color wall. There's an invisible barrier you're jumping around. This part is important. You want to jump from there all the way to the water. If you die, it may be the same thing where you have to start from the beginning. So make sure to use some sword swings for extra distance. Then walk alongside the cliff to the end. At the end, you can fall to your death, so as soon as you can see the end of the cliffside, jump to it. Don't walk past it. Then climb to the top. The exact way you get up there doesn't matter. I suggest tracking the blind well on your map. This can give you a sense of direction. Head straight over everything towards the blind well marker until you reach the bridge.
don't walk along the left side of the bridge, come from the right and then jump to the cave. This will initiate the final loading zone. Then turn around, go along the bridge, and then drop down to get the chest. You can loot this chest once per class every week, so that's three chests possible if you do it three times. This chest can offer weapons, armor, and taken mods. These mods are especially good for Gambit and the Whisper and Bad Juju missions. Taken Barrier reduces damage, Armaments grants heavy on grenade kills, and there are some others. These only work on Last Wish armor though, so you will need to get a piece to use the mod in the special armor slot. Proof that this works without the DLC will be in the description. Now for the Warlock version, you want to be a top tree Dawnblade. You don't need a whole lot of mobility, but it does help. Use Balance Glide. Same as Titan, bring a sword, rally for ammo and super. For the island, you want to have your super. Jump on the left side so you don't hit your head on the ceiling. Activate your super when you think you are falling. Spam the Icarus dash button. You can hold different directions as you Icarus dash multiple times so that you can gain extra height. Kind of like jumping back and forth. Guardian, I have reports the Scorn are preparing an ether ritual in your sector. When you get here, you probably want another super and do the same thing. If you own Shadow Keep, you can try grenade flying instead. More on that in a vid in the description. Then carry on just like the Titan.
For the hunter, you want 100 mobility if you aren't using stompies. Exotic stompies are recommended though. These clips were done without stompies. You want to have triple jump with bottom tree night stalker. If you have shadow keep, you can use blade barrage. Bring a sword. Rally for ammo and super. Guardian, I have reports the Scorn are preparing an ether ritual in your sector. When you get there, you'll notice it takes extra steps. You can sword swing into this pocket to help you jump up higher. To get to the island, you can sparrow fly. More on that in the description. Use stompies and a sword. Or you can use your super. You want to angle yourself for the edge of the island. Use your sword for distance. When you hit your head on the ceiling, keep using quiver. This will keep your momentum. If you think you're going too far, stop using your quiver and try to jump melee sword swing to the edge. All these methods may take a few tries. So feel free to rally a public event flag and come back if you're doing the no stompy super method. For the hole, you want to jump to this invisible pocket, then to the other side if you don't have stompies, then up the hole and swing your sword. For the long jump, make sure to add some sword swings to be safe, and you're home free. Cheese forever, Guardian!